Like, I'm done. She's on her own, and her dad's done. I look exhausted because I am um, very ready for bed. It's been a long night. We got an email basically saying she was acting odd and in the kitchen, in the refrigerator, eating a bunch of food and she was clearly high. And so we had a meeting tomorrow anyway for her and the group of staff. Uh, she started calling me incessantly tonight and I talked to her dad and was like, can we talk to her together because I know it's going to be the same, same story. Uh, I, she hates it there. She wants to leave. She'd rather be homeless, blah, blah, blah. I just realized only have one year. <laughs> yeah, I'm a shit show. Uh, but anyway, we, I just got off the phone with her. Her dad really was rough on her. The situation she's in is all her doing. I mean, he did the whole tough love thing, which I think had to be said and everything he said was true it just came out abrasively I'd say and she's pulling the old you know it's everyone else's fault she doesn't like the rules blah 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 it's our fault it's the staff's fault anybody but her so she's just refusing any responsibility and he eventually just hung up because I mean, she's just, she's insistent. She's going to a homeless shelter. She doesn't care. She's leaving there. Doesn't matter what we say or do. She's going to a homeless shelter where she doesn't have the rules. I don't know if she has to hit that rock bottom in order to realize how good she actually has it. Uh, so I said, if she does that, then I'm not, I'm done. Like, I'm done. She's on her own and her dad's done. So we'll see what happens. He hung up. I stayed on with her for about, for another hour and listened to her. And one, <laughs> one time where she made sense and, and she did was she feels very shamed um, for smoking pot. She said, how would you like it if there was a certain food that you loved, that you craved, that made you feel better? and everyone shamed you for it, and they told you you couldn't have it. And it, it just, it made me feel like someone who's overweight, who's addicted to food or whatever, that's their comfort, and here we are shaming them for it. And to an extent, I get that, and I agree that that's not the way to go about it. Shaming her for it is not helping. I, it's never helped. We've got to figure out another way. I just don't know what it is. I told her I agreed with that. I don't want to shame her for it. She thinks she knows what's best for her body, whatever. She's also in a federal program where they can't have marijuana. But at one point, you know, her dad's like, what have you done? What have you done to better yourself? What have you done to show us that you are working on yourself to make things better? What have, what have you accomplished? And the problem with me is when I get nervous, um, which I was feeling like a lot of anxiety, I get giggly that's just what happens i mean i can go to a freaking funeral and get giggly it's just it's a horrible nervous habit but anyway she she says well i'm planning to take belly dancing <laughs> and i don't know why for some reason that just like i just cracked i i literally like i was hysterically laughing i had to literally take the phone away like hold the phone away because <laughs> Here we are grasping for what is it you're doing to better yourself. And she's like, well, I'm planning to take belly dancing. And I think with all the stress, it just triggered like this. Honestly, I was hysterically laughing and I felt so bad. It was just I, the irony of it. I don't know. Anyway, I'm sorry to ramble, guys, but I just, I was going to wait until tomorrow. But I, I want to show it like it is. And by the end of the conversation... She still was planning to go to a homeless shelter, but at least she's going to wait until tomorrow. She did tell me she, she's, <laughs> and this is how it ended too. Uh, well, can I just call you later? I mean, we're going on, you know, <laughs> it's late right now. It's really late. She's, can I call you later? I'm getting annoyed. And I said, well, how about I call you? We'll talk tomorrow. And yeah, she said she loved me, which was good. So I'm going to go to bed now. And I'm going to say a little prayer and I'm going to think positive thoughts because, guys, again, when even when it feels like there's no hope, 
you got to detach and you got to look out for yourself. You got to believe that some other power is going to come in and pick this up. And every time we hit a rough spot like this, it's like a challenge. But in my mind, it's not the end of the world. It's just another. Every time there's a challenge, something good comes out of it. So I feel like something positive is going to come out of this. Had this happened a year or two ago, I would have been a nervous wreck thinking there's no hope, but I, I am holding on. I am holding on strong that this is happening for a friggin' reason and we're all gonna learn something from it. She's gonna learn something from it. I'm gonna learn something from it. Hopefully you guys watch the unfolding, we'll see. I love you guys, we're all in this together. I will update you tomorrow after the meeting.